If you're planning to buy a screen protector for your iPad, you must be wondering whether to buy a tempered glass or a matte screen protector. I have used the iPad Pro 11 for more than one year and I have used both a tempered glass and a matte screen protector. In this video, I'll compare both of them on basis of five characteristics, writing experience, display quality, fingerprint resistance, scratch resistance, and protection. And after that, at the end, I'll conclude which is better. My name is Chisel. You're watching The Tech Doctor. Let's begin. So first up, writing experience. There is nothing to debate here. Matte screen protectors are better for writing. They give you a rough paper-like feel while you write. They make that scratchy sound while writing. And they also give you a good feedback so your handwriting is faster. While on a tempered glass, you're writing on a slippery surface. So you need time to get used to it. But once you do get used to it, handwriting is almost similar. On the left of your screen, you can see my handwriting with a tempered glass. And on right is my handwriting with paper-like. I would say it is easier to write on paper like, but the end result isn't too different. Once you get used to writing on tempered glass, your handwriting is as good as on a matte screen protector. And if you want to improve your writing on glass, then you can add some silicone covers for your pencil tips to prevent it from slipping while writing. Now let's come to the second point that is display quality. All the matte screen protectors will give you a grainy appearance and that rainbow effect on the display. Even paper like. All the paper like does make a good effort to minimize the distortion, but even with all the nano dot technology that they are using, they will not be able to give you that clear display. And you will feel that your retina display is gone. And while consuming media, you will feel like ripping off your matte screen protector because the sharpness completely goes away. So tempered glass wins for display quality. Although with glass, the display will be reflective, but if you buy from a good company, it will be less. One of my friends is using the ESR tempered glass and the reflection on that is relatively less compared to the other screen protectors. The one I'm using is this Robustrion glass protector. It is quite reflective. So next time I'll either be moving to ESR or there is an Indian company by the name of Scratch Guard which makes really good tempered glasses and screen protectors. I might be trying that next time. Third point is fingerprint resistance. Matte screen protectors usually do a very good job and they are fingerprint resistant. Although tempered glasses have an oleophobic coating on them, but you will see a lot of fingerprints. You will find yourself wiping the screen a lot more often. So for fingerprint resistance, matte screen protector wins. Fourth point is scratch resistance. Glasses usually have a scratch resistant coating on them, so they will not scratch easily. While matte screen protectors, they do not have any coating. Rather, they have some bumps and ridges on the top layer which give it that matte feel. So it will scratch more, there is no doubt about that. And that is why my paper like looked like this after three months of use. So tempered glass wins for scratch resistance. I have been using this tempered glass for five to six months now and there is not even a single scratch on it. Fifth and last point is protection. Obviously, tempered glass provide you more protection. If you drop your iPad or you have an accident with it, your tempered glass will shatter, but your screen will be protected. While a matte screen protector is a thin film, it will not provide you the same level of protection as of a tempered glass. So considering all these points, let's conclude. If you want a good writing experience, like if you're a student or you're an artist, then you might want to try the matte screen protector. But keep in mind, that it will scratch and it will ruin your display. I do a lot of writing on my iPad and that is why I tried paper like. While writing, I love it, but rest of the times I felt like ripping it off and I did take it off after three months of use. Because you don't just write on your iPad, you have to read your notes as well, right? And reading with a matte screen protector is not a pleasant experience. While on the other hand, you will get used to writing on a tempered glass. So if you want to take my advice, stick to a tempered glass. For everyone else who are not writing on their iPad, tempered glass is anyways the best choice. I hope this video was helpful for you to decide which screen protector do you need for your iPad. I would advise you go for a tempered glass even if you write a lot. But if you want to try a matte screen protector, then I would advise you look for other cheaper options as well. Don't just keep looking for paper like. So that's it for this video. You are watching The Tech Doctor. Namaste.